Welcome to Apps for Mobile Notaries. Before we begin, what I want to tell you is there are no absolutes. That's the only thing I want you to get out this class. There are no absolutes. We are human. We have preferences. We have choices. What works for me may not necessarily work for you. And we have our own biases. I may like one product, and you may like another product. And that's all just fine. My name is Donnell Smith. I'm an IT project manager by trade. I have 18 years project management experience. I'm a certified signing agent with six years experience, and I'm an adjunct instructor with three years of experience. Now, I know somebody is sitting there adding up all those years. Well, I'm going to give you another variable. I was in the United States Air Force for 25 years, OK? So if you're trying to figure out how old I am, <laughs> it's going to cost you a dollar a guess, OK? In the daytime, like I said, I'm an IT project manager for one of the largest defense contractors. And I take my project management skills and I teach at Prince George's Community College in Maryland, where I teach a class called the 21st Century Notary, where I teach people how to run a home business like it's a big business and help you take your business to the next level. This is my personal slogan. Notaries who fail to embrace technology will be left behind. As you're seeing here today at the National Notary Convention, everything is going e-notarizations, e-closings. That is the wave of the future, all right? Like we used to say in the military, either lead, follow, or get out the way. We have no choice. It's coming. The purpose of this presentation is to help you explore tools, applications, and processes that will save you time help organize your activities, reduce unnecessary actions, improve business reporting, help you work smarter, not necessarily harder, assist you in finding new business opportunities, and most importantly, help you save money. Now we're gonna get what you came here for, the mobile apps. So one day I was out doing a job, like I told you, I'm an IT project manager, right? So the night before I did a job and I had to scan back the documents so I went down to my car, I called the company that hired me, asked them did they receive the scan backs, and they said, we have everything but one page. And I says, well, um, can it wait till six o'clock when I get home? And she says, you don't have a, a scanner on your phone? I'm like, no. She says, I want you to download Tiny Scanner, take a picture of it, and send it to me. And that's what I did. I downloaded Tiny Scanner, took a picture of the document, and I emailed it directly to the title company, and they were happy. Saved me time and saved me money as far as having to rush home to get it done. Like I said at the beginning, this course is about options. There are no absolutes. So you're going to see multiple products to do the same thing for the people that came in late. The next one we're going to talk about is Adobe Scan. All right? It has the same features that Tiny Scanner had. So if you're an Adobe fan, you may want to go with Adobe Scan. But like I said, there are no absolutes. The reason I like a tiny scan, you ever try to take a picture of a piece of paper and you lean over and you get that shadow, right? So when you take tiny scanner, it can have the darkest shadow on it, and then it gives you an option to, it'll, it'll disappear. It'll filter out, it'll be a clear PDF. You can attach multiple documents to it. Um, don't, try to fact, don't try to fax back 125 pages with it, but you know, it's good for three, four, five, or six pages. Right, so you know, you can take a picture of a license, but sometimes some states have that, that glare thing on it, so that's why I use Tiny Scanner. Plus, it saves it as a PDF. There's another application out there called Page Separator, which will take you a little bit more time. What Page Separator does, it will take a PDF file that you will get that have both letter and legal in it, and it will divide it into two other PDFs one strictly letter, one strictly legal, and you can print it like that. So you'll print all your letter pages and then you'll print all your legal pages. That's pageseparator.com. And then depending on which version you buy of Page Separator, it'll give you a stacking order to put it back in order if you want to put it back in order. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is electronic journals. I can only find one electronic journal that I felt worthy to present to you today. It records journal entries faster than handwritten entries able to record signers' IDs or take their pictures, one-touch record 
to record the GPS location of where the notarial act took place. The encryption is 128-bit encryption, so it's really encrypted on the cloud. It's like an Amazon web service, so it's encrypted. When it's being transmitted, also when the data is at rest, it is encrypted. Limits exposure of non-public information. So what that means is, if you have to go and appear in court, you can take just that record instead of your whole journal. And you're not exposing all the other entries in your journal to the public. Unlimited access to your journal entries even after your subscription is terminated. So if you decide that you no longer want to do signings anymore, you still have access to your journal in case you need to get there. I even have a testimony by Elaine Wright Harris, the 2009 Notary of the Year, who's sitting right over there in the corner, okay? Next, pricing. You have the choice of $199, unlimited access for $299 a month, or a pay-as-you-go service of 50 cents per entry. Now, I know some people from California, you're unable to use Notary Act by law, but here is a map showing where um, Notary Act is accepted. The state map requiring journals is also in the presentation as well. Okay, how many people have one cell phone? All right, so how many people plan on getting another phone for their business? Okay, all right. Suppose I can give you a way to save money. You can use one phone for both personal and business. Would you be interested in that? All right, so we're gonna talk about Google Voice. What Google Voice is, it allows you to add a second number to your existing phone for free, no cost. The Google Voice app, this is an app that you will actually put on your phone. Um, the good thing about Google Voice, it allows you to pick your number in the area code that you would like. Now, I know some people have some questions like, well, how do I know which phone number is calling me, whether it's my regular phone or whether it's my Google phone number? When you get a phone call on your Google phone, It'll come up with a number that you probably will not recognize, and you'll get a message telling you that you have a call. You have the option of either accepting that call or sending it to voicemail. So that's how you know if it's a business call or whether it's a personal call, okay? The next thing we're gonna talk about is notary accounting software. This is very important. It helps track your signings. It tracks your expenses. It tracks um, your mileage, and it prepares it for when it's tax time for you to turn into your tax preparer. It gives you detailed forms like a Schedule C that your tax preparer can work with. Notary Assist, um, you start your free trial. Um, enjoy these features for $7.99 a month or pay $85 annually and uh, get a 10% discount. The next one we're going to talk about is Notary Gadget. Um, Notary Gadget is a super easy accounting and signing management software for notaries. It makes everything you do easier as far as sending invoices, tracking payments, tracking mileage, managing your calendar, and tracking your expenses and helping you with your taxes. Notary Gadget makes it super easier to track your payment, expenses, mileage, notarial acts, appointment confirmation, and more. Simple icons are there uh, to show you if you miss something or something still needs to be done. It also integrates with your Google Calendar and your smartphone. It even sends you an email and text reminder before each signing. The minute you enter a signing, it automatically creates a PDF invoice, and all you have to do is click a button to send that invoice. You do not have to go into your email. Um, and it's also easy to send monthly and weekly invoices as well. Uh, mileage directions and time, Notary Gadget automatically calculates driving directions, mileage, driving time, and even records the amount you can deduct on your taxes for each signing. Notary Gadget reminds you to record the number of your notarial acts performed for each signing, which can save you thousands on your taxes. Please, please record your notarial acts. My first year, I lost over $5,000 because I was not recording my notarial acts as I was going along. I didn't know, but I found out the next year. Stress-free taxes, Notary Gadget instantly generates reports that you need to do your taxes. It breaks down all your income, expenses, and notarial fees exactly the way your accountant or your taxpayer needs to send them. And the pricing for Notary Gadget, you get a free trial 
Your first 15 signings are free, regardless um, how long it takes you. It's $9 a month or $99 a year. The next thing we're going to talk about is GPS software. Find My Friends is the next one we're going to talk about. So when my daughter first got her driver's license by the state of Maryland, that doesn't mean that she could drive by the state of daddy. So, you know, she's a senior. She feels that she has the right to drive to school because it's not cool to ride the bus. So I'm like, all right, fine. On the first day to school, I followed her in my car. All right, to make sure that she could get there safely because they drive kind of crazy in Maryland. So it got to the point, I was like, well, I can't keep doing this because I'm going to be late for work. So I found Find My Friends. I'd be driving to work and I'd be looking at my phone, making sure that she's driving to school and she gets there on time. Um, she took a trip to China. I was able to track her in China. So that was pretty amazing. The only thing I can't figure out is why does my wife does not want to be my friend? <laughs> so anyway. But on a serious note, the reason I presented this app here is because sometimes you may be out there late at night, somebody needs to know where you are, how to find you, just in case something happens, okay? So I do have another friend who has a son, okay? And boys, you know, they like to speed. In this app, Life360 GPS, you can track how fast your son or daughter is going in the car, and he caught his son doing 120 miles an hour one day. All right, Life360 had a few more features than Find My Friends. Uh, you'd have to download that. You may already have Find My Friends on your phone today. The next thing I want to talk about is Miles IQ. It is a tracking software that works very well. With Miles IQ, it tracks whenever you're in your car and you are driving somewhere, it calculates the mileage. And then at your convenience, you can go back through the app and sort it, whether that was a personal trip or whether it is a business trip, which you can claim on your taxes when it comes time at the end of the year. Miles IQ's pricing model, um, basic, if you do less than 40 drives a month, it's free. Your monthly premium is $5.99 unlimited, or if you do an annual subscription, it's $4.99 a month. So the beautiful thing about Miles IQ, it's on your phone. Whatever car you're riding in, when it detects moving, it's tracking it, All right? So when I file my taxes, I my account, he just wants to know the mileage on the Schedule C. So, and, I and Miles IQ will do a Schedule C, but you can put a note in there. So the beauty about Miles IQ, you can add your own categories. Let's say you had two businesses. Let's say you had one, you can add not a notary business. So I guess you can do that. So you can put car one, car two, and when you swipe for business, you select car one, you select car two. Shaper Share, it is another app that calculates your mileage to help you come tax time. So ShaperShare has some of the same features as Miles IQ. Um, ShaperShare is kind of a favorite with the Uber and Lyft drivers. So I was looking for something to give you options, okay? So also keep in mind when you're using like Notary Act and, I'm sorry, Notary Assist and Notary Gadget, it'll also record your miles. So like say I put in an address that's 30 miles away, I put in the address of the signing, it will automatically, in those software, calculate your miles. The only thing that Miles IQ is going to give you that you're not going to get in Notary Act unless you take the time to put it in there is, okay, fine, I did the signing, came back. Now I have to drive and drop it off at the post office. That mile is also deductible. Or let's say I go to Staples to buy more paper. That's a business expense trip too. I can, I can, cal I can write that off on my taxes as well. So remember, if you're using Notary Assist, or Notary Gadget, it's going to track your mileage to and from the signing, or you can set that up inside Notary Assist and Notary Gadget to go off the mileage on the car. But it's for those additional miles that you may want to claim as well. That's what I use Miles IQ for. How many people in here use Waze? Waze? How many people use Google Maps to get around? Okay. Now we're going to talk about Google Maps versus Waze. Google Maps is much like your traditional maps. It has the same variety of options such as driving, biking, and walking, packed with additional information about businesses, monuments, and everything else you would see on a typical map. Whereas Waze is a turn-by-turn -turn navigation system which focuses on social networking as far as giving you alerts. Drivers can share information about accidents, police, road conditions, and hazards, and much, much more. It is solely for car navigation. 
Um, how many people knew that Google Maps owned Waze? One person, all right, see right there. Back in 2013, Google Map bought Waze, and um, it has kept them as two separate applications sharing only some features. So which one, who thinks Waze is faster? All right, cool. How many people think Google Maps is faster? Waze avoids highways by default or takes the shortest route instead of the fastest route. So in my opinion, you can't go wrong with either one. Uh, some of your features for Google Maps is navigation options for driving, biking, walking, and using public transportation. It also has voice options for driving, biking, and walking, live traffic conditions, incident reporting, and optional rerouting, business information for over a million places, integration of Google Street View, so you can actually see the street fronts of the places that you're trying to get to, Offline mode with turn-by-turn -turn navigation in case you don't have a signal. Display business hours and, search and searches and also alerts you if you will arrive at that destination before that establishment closes. Shows you which lane to be in for turns. Shows map information when looking at different routing options. Tracks and saves locations data over time, so frequent places that you constantly go to, it will save that and it'll let you know about traffic jams, and it'll give you a countdown indicator as to how long you will be in traffic. Summary of features for Waze, it's a social network integration that includes live traffic reporting from other users, the ability to send live updated information with your ETA to friends. So if you're going on a, low, a long road trip, you can send your route and your estimated time of arrival to get there. It has additional celebrity voices if you're into that thing. Learns frequent destination, commuting hours, and preferred routes. Easily search for the cheapest gas along the route. And it also has a countdown counter when you're stuck in traffic to let you know how long you'll be in traffic. Printers. I know the topic of this class was mobile applications, but that's the question I get asked the most. Which printer do you recommend? Well, I picked out two printers, and we're going to look at both of these printers. The first one is the Brother HL L5200DW. It is a monochrome printer, which meaning it's a black and white printer, 42 pages per minute, two-sided printing. It's wired or wireless, which means it can work with your mobile device. Like it says, it's mobile device compatible. It has expandable trays, so it can do letter and legal. And it has secure printing capability, which basically means it's pen to print. If you want, you can put in a pen number, and the printer will not print the document until you enter that PIN number. And like it says, it has dual trays. Bottom line is the price is $299.99. Find it on Amazon, okay? Well, Brothers Cartridge is $125 a cartridge. So my opinion, um, it's all about bottom line and increasing my profits. I go to Amazon and I buy third-party cartridges off of Amazon. The next one we're gonna talk about is the HP Laser Pro M402DN. So this particular printer, it is also a black and white printer, 40 pages per minute. It also does two-sided printing. It is wired or wireless printing, and it is mobile device capable, expandable up to three trays, and it also has secure printing capable. So this one here is $269.99, but there's a catch to this printer. For the additional drawers for this printer or trays, it's $139.99 each. So take that in mind if you decide to go with the HP. The next thing we're gonna talk about is scanners. Right now, we're not totally there as far as e-notarization and the mobile and um, remote notarization, so we still have to do fax backs as notaries. So you need a good scanner. So the first one I recommend is the Brother ADS 2200 scanner. It is a color duplex scanner, it does 35 pages per minute, two-sided scanning, one-touch operation. It has a 50-page sheet capacity, meaning you can stick 50 pages in it at one time. It scans multiple page sizes. What that means is you can have letter, legal, business cards all in one, and it will scan them and it will recognize them simultaneously. And it has a 3,000 scan per day duty cycle. The bottom line price for this is $247.96. The next one we're gonna talk about is the Xerox Document 3125 scanner. 50 pages per minute, 
maximum page size, eight and a half by 38 inches, ADF minim, minimal. Page size, two by two inches. That's the smallest it'll go. Create searchable PDF files to make it easier to find your scanned documents, capable of scanning ID cards, business cards, up to 0.8 millimeter, millimeter in thickness. Um, scans up to 70 images per minute. The bottom line price is $310.92. So I would like to thank the National Notary Association for allowing me to come up here and share my information with you. I would also like to thank my mentors, Elaine Wright and Wanda Moore, because if it wasn't for them, I would not be where I am today.